see a lot of older people, especially, asking questions about joint replacement. Knees and hip usually, once in a while, an ankle. And I have had my right knee replaced. I just wanted to share my journey and kind of give some comfort to people who are approaching surgery or contemplating it, at least suffering with the pain. In the 90s, I was playing tennis and blew out my right knee. And they did arthroscopic surgery to clean it up. And I was in pain for a few weeks, but it, it was okay. You know, if anybody has surgery, they talk about the weather affecting their joints, and you can tell the, the weather's changing by how much your joint hurts, and that's absolutely what happened to me. But that kind of cleared up, and for a long time, I didn't really notice anything. Eventually, though, my knee started hurting. It would wake me up at night and would just ache. It wasn't sharp pains, but just kind of a dull pain that you just couldn't ignore after a while. So I went to the doctor, and he says, no problem. Here's a cortisone shot. And it was good for a couple of years. And then I just say, hey, my knee's hurting again. Bam, he give me a cortisone shot. And then it would you know, take a couple, three weeks until it kicked in, but then it would feel great for a year or so. And we, we did that for a lot of years. And I actually wish I knew the, the first time I got a shot. It'd be interesting to know. Because I probably got six or eight different shots over the years. So it was a long time. But at the end, the shots worked for three months, maybe four months, and, and then the pain came back, and the last shot, it didn't work. And so I suggested, and I should have done it earlier, and that's why I'm doing this video. I suggested, why don't I go see a sports specialist? And my GP said, oh, good idea. Well, I wish he would have suggested it years earlier, because by the time I suggested it, I was bone on bone, and it, it was very painful. Just walking, was it hurt. I was uh, relegated to walking with a cane. And you can't do a lot of backpack backpacking if your joints hurt so much you can't walk. So I went to the sports guy and uh, he did an MRI and x-ray and figured out that I had osteoarthritis, not rheumatoid, that's a different problem. Not good at all, but osteo osteoarthritis is what I've had, or I guess I still have. And so um, he suggested physical therapy, which by the way, helped. It strengthened all the muscles, and that helped support the joint. What had happened over the years is I had started, started favoring my right knee, strengthening my left leg and my hip and my ankles, and letting everything on my right side atrophy, which just made everything worse. So the physical therapy really helped. It wasn't enough, though. And we did that for about six, nine months, and I was in really pretty good shape. But it was still bad enough that um, one time at REI, I was at the front of the store at the end of a shift and I'd forgotten to punch out, which meant I had to walk all the way to the back of the store, punch out and come all the way to the front of the store. And you've been in an REI store probably. It's the same size across the world. There's a whole mess of sporting goods kind of stores. It's not huge, it's for sure, way smaller than a Cabela's or Kmart, something like that. It's just a good sized retail store. I was almost in tears. I had to walk all the way to the back of the store, punch out, walk all the way to the front. And, and I would have, my preference would have been in just don't pay me for the shift. I would rather not get any money than have to do that long walk. So COVID hit and uh, found the opportunity then because that uh, wasn't working because everything was shut down and I uh, had my right knee replaced and uh, did it on uh, July 31st of 2020, the month of August of 2020 was, was pretty bad. All I could do basically was get myself in and out of bed. I could make it to the bathroom by myself. Uh, I, I could shower. I was okay that way, but every step was painful. Up and down, I just went up and down the stairs one time a day. I w did not want to do that more than once a day. I sat a lot, I iced a lot. I borrowed an ice machine that, that was designed for joints. Uh, I had an adapter so the cold water from the ice would, would go around. I sat with my leg elevated. I did start physical therapy again. That was part of the process. Less than a week after the operation, I was in physical therapy and boy, did that hurt. They would um, push on my knee to get to bending. They wanted to get down to, I think it was 25 degrees. Um, I actually got to 28 or 27 and they consider that pretty much a success and they would just gently push on it as long as I could tolerate the pain. They even put me on a machine that bent my knee for me. And so they didn't have to push it. 
and we would go to like 100 degrees, and then we'd go 99 degrees a few times, and then 98, and you know, we'd just gradually go a little bit further, a little bit further, and a couple times a week. And eventually, yeah, I was able to walk, and, and within a month, I'm sorry, within three months, so I got my operation August 1st, about July 31st. Uh, in November, I did my first backpacking trip, walked about five miles, mostly without the backpack. I walked about a half mile with the backpack, set up camp, then just did an out and back, just with a day pack amount of stuff. I did my regular backpack, but it was pretty much empty. And I did about five miles round trip, real slowly and, you know, with some discomfort. And then a uh, year to the day after my operation is when I started my through hike, through hike at the King's Trail. 300 miles, rocks, climbs, water crossings, and so there is hope uh, since the operation. I've got almost a thousand miles of backpacking on my artificial knee. So there is hope. And yeah, talk to your doctor, of course, I'm not a doctor. I don't know your situation, but definitely, if your doctor starts talking about an operation to replace your knee, replace your ankle, replace your hip, listen and think about it. Ask other people, don't just trust me. Uh, definitely do your physical therapy before leading up to the operation and after. It, it changed my life. I, I know where my cane is, but it's in the bottom of a box in the basement. I do not need it anymore. I do use hiking poles, but at my age, everybody does regardless of their joint situation. So I just want to give this to you as some, some kind of hope that if you're suffering from arthritis, have some other joint issues, there is hope and light at the end of the tunnel. And I sure wish you... Uh, well with whatever your challenges are. If you have any questions, I'd be glad to share. It's uh, no secret, I'm, I'm pretty proud of the success I've made. So, see you up the trail.